Well guys, so now let's take a look at the asset creation. Uh, just before that, uh, for now, uh, asset it is only working with Arnold Renderer. So be sure your Arnold module, MTOA module is uh, well loaded in Maya. Okay, so here I have a simple uh, thin for example with uh, some mesh and one lighting. I would like to add this water roll uh, object. So how it works. Uh, there are some rules to know and respect, like for each uh, each tool. The first one here is you add a set. So here we add a set one by one. Uh, to do that, uh, we use the plus button here. If I click on the plus button here, you see he asks me to select something before, because you have to select before to open the add editor. So selection is important. If I select like this, for example, that will not take in account uh, the main parent group of the asset, but it will only take the mesh inside. So be careful of what and how you want to export your asset. Here I want everything um, and the group too. Otherwise, when you, you will import your asset, uh, it will import all those mesh at the root of Outliner. Okay, great. Also, uh, second thing uh, important is that here you have a third part, uh, which is dedicated to uh, the image um, thumbnail generation, then all the info for creating uh, your asset. Uh, yes, when you open, that will deselect your asset, it's normal. Third thing, you see, uh, we need to generate a thumbnail, uh, so an image that will then be listed in your tabs. Uh, for that, you can directly hit this button to render. If it's the first time you use uh, Asset It um, and the first time you launch Maya, you can have um, a window uh, which is a render setting that will open. That will only open once and uh, never open again. Also, same thing, the first time you launch this, and it's, if it's uh, the first time you launch Maya, uh, there will be some time that uh, Arnold initialize uh, and thing like that. Okay, but now if I do a new render, uh, that will be uh, quicker. By default, um, asset it will be able to fit uh, and to frame your asset for the render, but you can change this if you want with the camera icon here. So the little thumbnail framing, framing windows. Okay, you can change the, the framing of your asset, zoom a bit in if you want. But by default, it's not necessary that can work. Uh, here is some viewport, uh, viewport um, option, but just for viewport, not for rendering. The rendering option is here. Um, you see my, um, my asset has some shader and texture which is great, we can save the or not. But um, if you want, for example, to, have to save the shader, but save the, your, your thumbnail in gray mode because it's more neutral, you can you have this icon. If you set it, that will automatically apply uh, a e surface material uh, with a, a, a kind of clay shader uh, for the render. Okay, so I will render it more closely. Okay, but if uh, I save my asset this way, uh, the information color will be saved. It just here the setting for the image, so it just uh, your choice. Uh, some interesting things to note here, uh, and what's asset it already done for you? Uh, look, asset it don't render other asset in the scene, which means that you can uh, quickly create and add asset. Uh, without uh, create a new scene, import and clean uh, your scene, okay? You can select an asset, uh, open the button and create the asset directly, even if there is other object in the scene. An example, for example, if I just want uh, this, let's close and open again, there is only this piece. Same thing here, I only have this uh, roof. Also, asset it don't use the light in your scene. 
its import uh, is on own uh, lighting, okay? Uh, which means you have nothing to do. Everything is set for you. Just select add a set and everything will be uh, created for you and don't disturb your working scene. Great. One important thing to note too, it's um, how the render and the asset is placed. Look, it's placed on a Z plus uh, axis. Okay. So if you have assets that need some uh, specific direction, look, it's on this placement. Great. Then uh, the name, by default, it will take the name of your selection, but you can, uh, of course, modify here. By default, also, it will take uh, the main tab and sub tab you are set on when you click on this button. Here, I only have one tab, and then you can change your tab here. But verify for the secondary tab, there can sometimes have uh, some mistake. So always check your asset will be saved on the right tab. Then uh, we have the save material option. By default, it will save your material, which means uh, every material and texture will be uh, saved. If you uncheck that, uh, Asset 8 will apply a number one to all the mesh inside your selection, and that will not save the material. Simply than that. Okay, so here we will save. Um, yes, the, here there is something really important and powerful about uh, texture dealing. Texture is always something complicated to deal with uh, when you manage uh, assets. So here you have both options. The first one is to touch nothing, which means here my assets have one shader with one texture apply. Okay, we have this path. It's uh, an absolute or a patch link to the project anyway. If you save uh, your assets, but broke this patch for anything, you bake up or you change computer, when you will import the asset, uh, and if the texture file don't exist, like for any Maya scene, um, it will not be able to locate the texture. So it's the classic one, don't copy texture to asset. But if you want to share, to manage something and be sure to don't lose your texture, you have the copy texture option to folder. That will not replace your texture patch. That means as long as this texture you use is existing on your computer and it's not a move or thing like that, it will use this. But if you break this patch, even when you will import, when you will import your assets, asset it will automatically relink to the same texture, copy to the uh, asset folder. Okay, we will do some tests to be uh, a bit clear about that. Asset info is just uh, some, uh, if you have uh, some user not for your asset. When everything is done, don't carry if you select any anything else that will well export the selection at the creation. Here. When it's okay for you, just create asset and boom, you have your asset here. You can middle mouse click button to open the info panel and every everything is here, the path where it's saved, renderer, save material, yes. The number of texture, we have one. We have choose to copy with the asset the texture. Okay, let's check that, right click, open my folder and here the texture is also saved. So all texture will be saved here at the waterfall uh, asset. Let's say for example, I want to move this asset from another tab. I create another tab. Okay. Um, there are no option inside Envid because it's too complicated, but just be sure to select the asset here and you can copy, do whatever you want. And now it's here. Let's check this um, texture uh, tool. Um, yes, I will go to the texture path here, for example. Now, um, yes, uh, for the texture path, which is this
okay it's this texture now for some reason I will save this in open a new one for some reason this texture don't exist anymore of course if I open my my thin you see the texture is now lost but thanks to us at it if you right click import file be sure to be set on texture it's have the texture because it is able to repath the texture you see asset it to the tab and to the location on the asset it script so you're not it's not an obligation to use that every time because on heavy asset it will copy a lot of texture uh, it's you to see and one last thing with that uh, that will only works on texture uh, on file node if you have um, AI image or render man very redshift everything like that of course that will not work uh, one last uh, note about other renderers than Arnold in fact uh, you can save the uh, asset if you want uh, with this renderer um, but uh, the only thing you have to do is um, the only thing that will not work of course is uh, is the round Arnold uh, render here so maybe check this that will apply an Arnold render to your let's say rate redshift mesh you will have in gray but that will save uh, the scene as a, a classical scene so all your redshift node and material will be export and when you will import that will work too so in fact it's just the thumbnail that don't works and also uh, one last thing if you know uh, someone with some skill in uh, scripting with a uh, redshift and very and wonder man uh, please let me contact me and i will add uh, the support to to asset it the problem is i don't found the solution for and the script uh, helps uh, to uh, add those renderer to asset it.